Hello everybody out there on YouTube and welcome to FNAF World, the RPG based on Five Nights at Freddy's, with me, 13th Dr. Jones. Now, I've never done a proper playthrough of an RPG before, and considering I have done Five Nights at Freddy's videos already, I thought, let's give something a little bit different and try out the RPG that everybody's been talking about. Now this is the demo version as the main game got removed because of all the bugs and everything. We all know that story, yada yada yada, I'm not going into it. So this is just a test video of the demo to see how well the game is and what I think of it. And then if you like the video and enough of you watch it, I'll do a full playthrough later on when the game gets re-released. Um, there will be some differences obviously between that and then, but we'll get into that a little bit later. So, here's the menu with all the cutesy little animatronics on it. So let's start. I have tested this once just to see how it goes, so that's why slot one has got three hours on it. Three hours of playing this. Oh, I had such a headache. Anyway, we're going to go with slot two, a new game. Erase data? No, we haven't got any. Oh, wait. New game, erase data? Yes. You can't in the demo play the fixed party one, which is more difficult, or you can't play hard mode. So we're going to go on normal adventure mode. Anyway. Here's the teams. There's 40 characters, but only about 16 of them are available in the demo. So I'm just going to have a team of the original animatronics. So we'll get Freddy, we'll get Bonnie, we'll get Chica, and Foxy in Team 1. And then the toy versions will be in Team 2. Um, I'll get into their attacks and their abilities and everything when we're in an actual battle. But for now, let's just get into it, because, you know, reasons. Fredbear! I know you feel like going out and taking a stroll, but something seems very wrong today. Yeah, I'm playing this game when it's got bugs in it still. <clears throat> All is not well in Animatronica. Animatronic Village? Village Tronica? We're working on it. The point is that something's gone horribly wrong. Why Animatronica? That's a weird name. There have been a lot of bizarre creatures roaming around lately, even some that look like us. We aren't prepared to deal with situations like this. Something bad must have happened on the flip side. <laughs> flip side, what? <laughs> Go see what you can find. Be careful though, our woodcutting auto chipper has gone haywire. It's been jump scaring me all, all day. You should be used to it, you did it to me enough. Toy Bonnie, something new. Now, get used to these loading screens because they're here every single time you go into a menu. And let's get ready for the overworld. Whenever you're ready, game. Now, the overworld, as you can see at the moment, is 2D. Um, it will be 3D in the full game when it's released again for free. And we're in a fight. So, yellow attacks. That one hit all enemies and I won straight away. So, okay. Well, now you know what, what bite does. And I earned some experience points and fast tokens. Basically, your attacks, what they do, well, obviously they hit things. You have status attacks, death attacks, healing abilities, and group of attacks, etc. So Chica has all the healing abilities and status enhancers. Then you have negative status ones like hot cheese, which damages him over time. Group attack, which is pizza wheel. And then this is a happy jam. Go, Bonnie. And then I can switch with that button and use my other team. So speed song for the toys. Prize ball, which is, I think, a random attack which didn't work because water hose is a death attack. Poppers, which I think you have to wait a couple turns. And then birthday, which gives you beneficial statuses. So I'm going to just kill this guy now because these are the easiest enemy in the game. And there we go. Experience and fast tokens. And you can save it at any time. Now, if you're wondering about the menu before I move around, there's chips, which is some upgrades for your characters, so like plus strength, etc. Some are not available in the demo again. And then, if we go into the other menu, after we've seen the paper pearls... Huh? I didn't even know they were a thing. I didn't even notice them disappearing too. And I think my game has crashed. No, it hasn't. There we go. And then you have bites, which are like summons or assistant characters. And again, not available in the demo, but you can get some of them. But you have to spend fast tokens on them. That's why you get fast tokens. With the Chica, what happened to Chica? Uh, that's the first Chica, so technically um, you replace Chica with something else. The Chica I've got now. You'll get it. Anyway, let's just have a stroll around. If you have a look here, we get fast tokens for treasure chests. 
Now, as much as the overworld of being in retro style is cool, I kind of don't like it because it messes with my eyes, so I have to take my glasses off for this. Um, oh, mech crabs. So here's another f example of a fight. Bash jam. Awesome attack. Jump scare, which uses the sound. That f freezes them. You know what birthday does. Regen song. Regen. So you know what that does. Anyway, let's get rid of these guys. Bash jam. Pizza wheel. Can I switch that because the characters do get experience as well? All your characters do. Now, I won't, I won't lie, I did play this for three hours, like I said earlier. So, basically, I kind of know what's coming up a little. So, sorry if anything d doesn't surprise me. Um, there's Golden Freddy again, but we won't talk to him yet because that's part of later in the game. Um, this little jump bit here on the screen, that is um, actually to jump you right back to the beginning of the map. And again. Regen song. Pizza wheel. I love it. Oh, it's a roller attack. And then hot cheese is like a poison. Bastion. This is one of the bugs that you can attack after you finish the fight. Doesn't make sense. But anyway, you could go around here. Um, it kind of reminds me of like a really basic Pokemon. Now, uh, this this thing here, that's the auto chipper Golden Freddy was on about. Uh, we don't want to go near that yet because we need to level up. It's an RPG, so we need to be at least level 5 before we try to take that on. Now, when it comes to leveling up, if I have to do a lot of it in this playthrough, I will actually just, um, you know, I will jump ahead a little bit while I level up and then I will show you the interesting parts because otherwise you're going to be here forever. Happy Jam! Pizza wheel! Eat pizza! I just had pizza for tea. It's quite nice. Wasn't from Freddy's though. Otherwise, I would probably be dead. Bastion! Oh, this guy's not dying. Okay, uh, birthday. Uh, one thing that Scott Cawthorn has corrected with this game is the attacks originally didn't tell you what they did, so you had to guess. So, now there's a little description when you highlight an attack of what it does, so you have more of an idea. Which is a good thing, I just hope he makes more improvements to the battle system when he re-releases it. Because, as much as I enjoy this game, I have enjoyed it when I tried it, it does need some refining. Because basically all you do is pick an attack, do a little bit of strategy but not much, like just use regen song, birthday, then do some attacking, keep yourself healed, and then that's it. Other than that you can use any move you want. Ah, oh, then poison. Fast jam. Level up. Let's see, and also, there's no stats in this game, so... Without stats, you can't really augment your characters how you want. It's just, the character leveled up, he gets a little bit stronger and gains a bit more health. But other than that, nothing else, which is a shame. I know all RPGs do that nowadays, but it's like a lack of depth makes this kind of a shallow experience. Anyway, I know I'm just wandering around in circles, but it's like it's like a Pokemon. I want to I want to um, level up a little bit before I try and take on the Auto Chipper, because I don't want to lose and embarrass myself. Mind you, I always embarrass myself in real life. <laughs> oh, Met Crab! Right, Happy Jam. Now I'll show you what I mean. Look, raises attack, defense, and speed for a while. Now that didn't pop up before. You just have to guess. Now, Cupcake is a healing move. Hot cheese damage over time effects. I think that's just missed actually because it's not near him. And then you can switch your team out whenever you want. Um, I do try and keep my team all evenly leveled. That's just me. I do it in Final Fantasy games and Kingdom Hearts, so that's just me. And he's dead. But you level up so fast at the start, it's ridiculous. Now, this guy here is a shot. Welcome to Mendo's Endo Upgrades. So, those fast tokens I spoke about earlier, if you have enough of them, you can buy a reinforced endoskeleton or a steel one or a titanium one if you get 9,000. But in the demo, believe me, that's going to take a long time because you can only go so far. So, at the moment, I only have 66, so I can't buy it, so let's get out of here. Toy Chica, let's party! I can't believe people actually drew Hente of Toy Chica. For those of you who don't know what Hente is, good luck parents explaining that one! For those of you who do know, you've got a sick mind. 
like me. Anyway, and this one is Lolbit, who's just like a repaint of, I think it's Funtime Foxy. And as you can see, these are like the characters who can help you fight, like they shoot stingers. And I think there's one that heals you. Again, I haven't got enough, I don't want to buy the small one, I'd rather save up and get the big one, because it'll help me more. Just So this is just basically showing you the shops. Endo plush, because character quota. That's a new one. But, come on. I hope they like the Nightmare Marionettes in this, because it wasn't listed. Is it Nightmare only it's called? I like the Night Marionette. Nightmare Marionette. And Nightmare Mangle. And then this is not Balloon Boy, it's Dee Dee. And this is basically just like a fishing mini game. Um, but to be honest, if you want to earn 100 fast bear tokens, you're better off just earning them in the field because you can drop the fishing plunger down and you're more likely to hit a fish than anything else because it's a, it's, it's a really poor fishing game. And to be fair, I don't have the patience. It's not Zelda. Spring trap. Cuter in person. Still a killer. Hey, purple guy! <gasps> Spoiler alert. Spring trap's a purple guy. I hope you get to fight Purple Guy. I, I mean, I haven't. I've heard rumors about what the hard mode final boss is, but I hope the final boss is Purple Guy because I think after four or five nights of Freddy's games, we need to teach him a lesson. Anyway, I'm going to do a little bit more leveling up now, guys. As soon as I'm level five, I will get back to you. I leveled up again. New challenger. Here we go. JJ, hot cheese, birthday, cupcake, bash jam, pizza wheel. Now these are the hardest fights in the game because they, the animatronics are just really hard. Balloons, ow, 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 ow. Birthday, switch teams, mic toss, munchies. Poppers. Cupcake, heal everyone. I never heard of JJ. Is she like the balloon girl? Because I heard there was a balloon girl, but I'm just confused who it is. Munchies. Uh, hook. Cupcake. Come on, toys. Mike Toss. Come on, JJ. Just die. Yes, we won. And you don't get much experience for that, or much tokens. However, we have a new party member. So now, we have JJ in the team, who starts off at level zero. But um, I'm not gonna use it, JJ. I don't use the Bloom Boys, because they're little foot boys. That's a Five Nights at Foot Boys reference, if you don't know. Oh, another challenger. Here we go. Phantom BB, birthday. Cupcake. Right, now phantoms are a lot are a bit harder than normal ones, so this might be a bit more intense than what we had just. Gloom song, ah, oh, lowest status. Um, cupcake, switch teams, munchies. Oh, this is this is intense. Hook. Uh, speed song. Birthday. Munchies. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Mike Toss, uh, Hook, Cupcake. I love the music, the music in this game is amazing. Speed Song. Come on, come on, Cupcake. Oh, Chica's getting close to dying. Munchies. Mike Toss. Uh, da -da -da -da. Come on, get Chica another turn. Toy Chica, yes, we won. So, we now have Phantom Balloon Boy. In fact, you know what? I will um, be back as soon as I am ready to fight the boss, because you guys have waited long enough. Oh, new challenger, guys. Phantom Freddy, oh god. Phantom Freddy's really hard, just so you know. Poppers. Um, this one's quite intense, so if I don't talk much, I apologize, but he is really, really tough. Cupcake. Uh, munchies. Come on. Come on. Hook. Uh, Mike Toss. We need to heal. We need to heal. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, buddy. No. Munchies. Cupcake. Okay. Oh, Mangle. Uh, 
Hook. Come on, guys. Come on. Munchies. Okay. We beat him. Yes. We now have Phantom Freddy, who is a really good character. Okay. I think now I've leveled up, guys. Okay. Everybody is ready except for Mangle, so we're going to take on the boss now. It's boss time. Bonnie. Jemin. How do you like your donuts? We're jamming. Boss time! Listen to this music. It's awesome. Okay, uh... Cupcake. Birthday. Oh, I'm doing a ton of damage to him. Uh, birthday. Why don't I do birthday? I've already done it once. Uh, ah, oh, we've paralyzed. Switch back. Come on. And do 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 Pizza wheel. We beat him! That easy. You see, you level up too much, and the bosses are really easy, so level 5 is enough, and 200 experience. I've just gone up, like, two levels with each character, so that's how easy it is. Okay, I think I'll leave this video here for now. Um, I'll move out the way, because the boss does respawn, um, and I'll pick that up, because it's a chip. But anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. This game, I do enjoy, get some enjoyment out of it, it's just, it's it's unfinished clearly, and that's why it's been taken down, you can't buy the full game yet. But the demo is pretty good, and when it comes out, I will play it, and if you guys enjoy watching me play it, I'll do the whole series and I'll do the whole game, because I think a playthrough is something I need to do sometime on my channel. Anyway, thank you for watching this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to check out the other, other videos on my channel. Um, feel free to check out the other Five Nights at Freddy's videos I've done. I'll put them in the description below. Um, and yeah, I shall see you in my next video. See you on the flip side.